everyone. Welcome to your Pilates slide class. Pilates slide classes mix my years of experience teaching group fitness on the Megaformer with mat Pilates. So it's going to be a mix of mat work and then standing sliding work and some plank sliding work. For equipment, you're just going to need a slider. I'm just using a dish towel because I'm going to do it on hardwood floors. If you're doing it on carpet, you can use one of those plastic gliders or paper plates work well. We're also going to incorporate a resistance band loop. Don't go too heavy with it because you will want to get a decent range of motion, especially for the leg work. Um, so I'm using my light band. So that I stay within frame of the camera, I'm going to flip my mat around a couple times throughout class so that I have space to slide. But as long as you have room next to your mat where you can do your sliding work, you may not have to flip it around like I'm doing. This class is a big endurance challenge. So we sort of focus on one muscle group at a time, but we flow continuously pretty much from section to section. So a great way to modify is just pause the video and take breaks as needed instead of doing the whole thing nonstop from start to finish. I'm going to guide you through the transitions as we go, but just to give you a general roadmap of class, we're going to start with a quick warm up, which will take us into some core activation work down on our mat. From there, we're going to go into our lower body work. It'll start on the mat with the band, and then we'll come to standing and do some sliding banded work to finish up that same leg. Staying on that side of the body, we'll then come down to the floor, um, focusing on obliques with some sliding plank based work. We then repeat that whole thing on the other side and we finish up prone to get into the back side of the body and center off. If you like this class, I have one more that you don't use a resistance band for up on my YouTube channel. And then I also have a bunch more Pilates slide classes available on Patreon. All the information you need about becoming a Patreon member is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. With all that said, let's get to class. We're going to have the band around the arches of our feet to start. We won't use it right away, but we will use it when we get into our core stuff. From here, I want you to sit down with your knees bent and the feet on the mat in front of you. And if you're tight through the hamstrings or hips, you may need to sit on a block or fold your mat over so that you're elevated so that you can have neutral, or you could always just come to a cross-legged position. Otherwise, I want you to sit nice and tall. Your hands can just be resting on your shins. Big inhale through the nose, expanding through the rib cage. And then as you exhale, I want you to gently knob the chin, hands start to slide down your shins, and I want you to just roll over those legs. So we're in this big flexed position, and we're just going to stay here for a couple breaths, really focusing on rib cage expansion. So as you inhale, expand that rib cage three-dimensionally, exhale out through the mouth, engaging through the abdominal wall, gentle lift of the pelvic floor. Inhale, feel that expansion into your mid-back area. Exhale out slowly. One more. And on your next inhale, I want you to stack the spine back up tall, vertebrae by vertebrae. Arms are going to reach forward, thumbs pointing up to the ceiling. Now let's start with our left arm. We're going to twist open through the torso as this arm makes a semicircle. So you're going to reach that left arm up. And then as you twist open, I want you to flip the palm. So now the thumb is pointing down towards the mat. It taps it behind you. And then reverse it. Start to lift that arm up. Rotate in that shoulder joint. As you close the twist, come forward. Stay on the same side. So you're sort of making a rainbow shape with the arm. Little mobility drill for the shoulders. And inviting that twist into your spine. One more time the side. Same thing, just take it over to the right. One more time. And then with both arms reaching forward, start with your lower spine. We're going to roll back vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way to lay down on the mat. One more thing in our warm up. I want you to plant down through the feet, arms down by your side. We're going to do a hip roll up into a glute bridge position. On your next exhale, start to roll your hip bones towards your ribs. Then press your feet into the floor, fire through the glutes, and vertebrae by vertebrae, roll your spine up into this long hip bridge position. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae. Roll back down to the mat, come through neutral. On your next exhale, roll up, squeeze to the seat, stay for an inhale at the top, 
So we're getting this nice opening through the front of the hip joint. Exhale, roll back down before we come into some flexion-based ab work. One more time. Exhale, fire through the seat. Press your feet into the floor. Long hip bridge position. Stay for a breath. And then roll your spine back down to the mat. All right, from here, we are gonna come into our ab work. So on an exhale, make sure you're neutral spine, and we're gonna bring those knees up to tabletop. Feet are flexed, band is around your arches. On an exhale, we're gonna press our right leg forward at an angle, keep your left leg where it is. And inhale, bring it in. Other side, exhale. Press that leg out to a hover and in. You're firm through your arms, keep going alternating side to side. So you're firmly pressing your arms down into the floor. You're brought across the collarbones. And we wanna to try to maintain constant tension on the band even as both knees are bent. So there's that gentle press outward. So as always with this core work at the start of class, when we start class with this kind of core work, we gradually dial up the intensity. So one more time on the left. And then both knees at tabletop, let's come into an ab curl position. Elbows wide, hands behind your head. On an exhale, come into your ab curl position. And then same thing. Exhale, right leg extends out. Inhale, bring it in. Keep going, alternating sides. Now I want you to notice something. When your knees are in tabletop, are they over your hips or over your belly button? I want them over your hips. It's something I always catch myself doing. Now there's a gentle nod of your chin. It's like you're rolling up and over something, but you're not jamming that chin down to your chest. We're using our breath here. Make sure you're not holding it. As you exhale, you're thinking of a gentle brace through that abdominal wall. One more time each leg. And then we're just gonna add in a twist. Pause, so the next time your right leg extends out, you're gonna twist over to the left like a bicycle crunch. Come through center, other side. Maintain about a hip's distance between the feet. Now coming up, instead of pausing in the center, we're gonna make it just a little more fluid. So let's go, it's up and over to the other side. Exhale, switch, switch. Four more. Three, two, one. Both knees to tabletop, lower head, neck, and shoulders. And I want you to bring your arms back down by your side. And I want you to straighten your legs up towards the ceiling. If you're tight to the hamstrings, which I definitely am, you can always keep a little softness to the knees, okay? So from here, press down firmly with your arms. It's gonna be a little abduction, so you're gonna pulse out with the legs, pulling apart on that band, bring it back into hips distance apart. Now I want you to lower the legs just about six inches and pull apart there. Lift back up to the ceiling, keep that going. Pull apart at the top, getting into those outer hips lower, press apart and lift. So you're only lowering as far down as you can go, maintaining a neutral spine. If your low back peels up and your pelvis rocks forward, then you're going too low. So that's why I cued just six inches to start. And maybe it's only six inches. I'm not gonna bring my legs very low. Again, you can unlock through the knees if you are tight through the hamstrings which I am, so I'm unlocking my knees. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna do it in an ab curl position coming up next. But if you wanna keep your arms down for the support, you absolutely can. Pause, hands behind your head. On an exhale, come into your ab curl position, same deal. Pull apart on that band, feet up to the ceiling. Drop those legs six inches. Pull apart at that hover. Lift it back up, you got it. Gaze is at your knees. Now, your hip flexors are working here too, so do not be frustrated if you are feeling your hip flexors in this. They are working with your abdominals. Two more. 
One last time, lower to your hover, pull apart on that band and just hold. Reach your arms forward, can you curl up a little higher? Maybe you drop those legs one inch lower. You hold for eight, seven, breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug the knees in towards your chest, little rock side to side, awesome job. So we're gonna come right into our work on the right leg. We're gonna come into a tabletop position, a staggered one though. So we're going to have our left forearm down on the mat, right fingertips on the mat. Now take your right leg, band is still around the arches of your feet, and you're gonna extend it long behind you. Now, a little tip with your left toes, really tuck them under and press them into the mat so that the band doesn't slip off of your feet. Now from here, we're gonna roll open through the pelvis, so take that right hip, peel it open, stacking the right on top of the left. Now toes point forward, outside ankle bone to the ceiling. There's gonna be two little pulses here. And then let's close that hip down squaring off the hips towards the floor. So we roll open, two straight leg pulses, and then you close it back down. Last time here, then we're gonna hold the hips open. Roll it open. Two little pulses, and now instead of a roll, it is a crunch. So you're gonna draw that right knee in towards your right elbow. You're gonna press that leg back. Two little pulses. If you need any padding for your bottom supporting left knee, by the way, you can always use your uh, dish towel under it. Now, when you do that crunch in and out, I want you to picture you're balancing something on the outside of this knee, okay? So as best you can, you're keeping that knee level with your hip. So our focus, we're starting on the right side, but your left side is doing a lot to support you, okay? So this is one where you should be feeling both sides really working. Last crunch here. Straighten out that leg. Now we're gonna finish with pulses, but a little different. I want you to sweep that leg forward out to the side about six inches, it's small. And now pulse from there, up, up. Now I don't want you to lean into that supporting left side. So think of really stacking your left hip over the left knee. Squeeze to the left side seat. Up an inch and up with the right. We're gonna hold the leg straight. We're gonna to come to two straight arms in four, three, two, one, hold this right leg straight. I want you to press up to two straight arms, squaring your chest to the floor. Now you're still slightly externally rotated through this extended right leg, okay? So toes point slightly out, but think of pulling this right hip down just a smidge so it's pretty level with the left, both hip bones pointing down to the floor. Now we have a three-part combo. It's gonna start with one straight leg pulse. Are you sick of these yet? Up and down. Now, just like we did before, you're going to draw the knee in towards your elbow. You're gonna lower that knee down like a hydrant. On an exhale, lift that knee up, hydrant. Kick that leg back straight, externally rotated. Give me a little pulse when it's back there. So you might not be able to keep the knee up as high now that we're square through the chest, and that is absolutely fine. So don't feel like your hydrant has to be huge, okay? Glutes and outer hips working a lot here. One hydrant, kick the legs straight. One pulse when it's back. You got it, we're almost done with this tabletop series. We'll come to standing up next, continuing the work on this right side. One more time, and then we're gonna hold the legs straight. So you hydrant open, you kick the leg back, pause. So you're externally rotated, but think of drawing the right hip down a little bit, drawn through your abdominals. Now, just like we did before, I want you to sweep that leg six inches out to the right, little pulses to finish. Up and up, you got it. Shift a little more weight into your right hand than the left, just because I don't want you to counter this by leaning over to the left side. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five. We stand in four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, so I'm just gonna flip my mat quickly. We are going to slightly adjust the position of the band and we're gonna grab our glider. 
So the band is gonna be around your right ankle and then around the ball of your left foot, or sorry, the arch of your left foot. And then you're gonna put the ball of the left foot on the glider and your right foot will be stationary on the mat. So again, right ankle, arch of the left foot, back left heel lifted, put your back left foot on the glider. Square up through your hips, we have a lunge combo to start. So we're gonna add in our arms on this. They're optional though. At any time, if you wanna just hold your arms still, go for it. As we do a back lunge, keeping the back leg straight, sliding the hips back, we're gonna reach our arms up overhead, biceps by the ears. At the bottom of this, we're gonna do a knee slide. As your back left knee draws in, I want you to pull the elbows in. As that back left leg straightens, I don't need to reach the arms overhead. And then we, as we rise up out of that lunge, arms can lower down by your side. So we lunge. We do one knee draw in and out, reaching and pulling with the arms, and then we come to stand. Now we're keeping a big hinge forward with the torso, so when you are in your lowest lunge, your shoulders are stacked over that front knee. And yes, we're reaching our arms up overhead, but really just biceps by the ears, or only as high as you can go, maintaining a connection to your rib cage. I don't want you to flare open there. Now this front right stationary foot is so important. Most of the weight is gonna be in your heel, absolutely, but I don't want you to lift the toes, so really think of grounding down through that big toe on the right side. We have some variations coming up. We're gonna hold low at the bottom. The first variation will just be that knee pull we've been doing, but we'll take out the up and down movement. So next time you're in your lowest lunge, I want you to hold just that knee slide. Before you do it though, I want you to draw your right hip back, left hip forward just a smidge so that we are square. So think equal length through both sides of your waist. Arms can reach and pull, or if you wanna just hold them in stillness at heart center or on your hips, go for it. Keep reaching those hips back. Your right knee is pretty much stacked right over that right heel. Second variation is coming up. You're gonna hold with that back leg straight in your low lunge and you're just going to pulse for me. Next time you press that leg back, arms overhead, we pulse down an inch and up an inch. Push against the band, keep that back leg long, down an inch, up just an inch, it's small. We're gonna go back to our starting combo to this whole thing again from the top. One lunge, one knee pull at the bottom and three two, one. You slowly lift up with control, arms lower. Lunge down, arms sweep overhead. One knee pull, elbows back as the knee draws forward. Limbs extend long. So when you're in your lowest lunge position, picture that back left heel to the top of your fingertips, one long diagonal line. We have those variations coming up. One more full time through the combo, and then we will hold low. Next time you're at the bottom, you're gonna hold, pause for a second, square off those hips, right hip back a smidge, left hip forward a smidge, just that knee slide in and out as the arms reach and pull. Big hinge forward, length through the back of your neck, so reach the top of your head long. Straight leg pulses are coming up after this. And then we have a couple more variations to tack onto this last time. And then you're done with this leg. Next time you press that leg back long, hold. We pulse down an inch, up an inch. We're gonna hold low in three. Two, hold your lowest lunge. Now I want you to reach your fingertips towards the floor. Maybe you hinge even more forward with your torso. Now I want you to bend your back knee, and as you bend your back knee, your torso lifts upright, you're gonna reach your arms to the ceiling. Reach your arms towards the floor as you straighten out your back leg. So we're moving between this split lunge position, torso upright, to this big hinged position. Arms reaching towards the floor. Now there's not a level change on my right side as I do this. It's that back left knee bending and straightening as the torso lifts and lowers. So almost picture the lever on a nutcracker. Next time you're in your split lunge position with the arms to the ceiling, I want you to pause. 
Take that back left hip, draw it forward and pick it up a smidge. Now pulse to finish down an inch and up an inch. You got it just 10 seconds. So close, pulse it out to finish, you got it. Now coming up next, band is gonna be in our hands. We're gonna come down for some plank work. You can remove the band from your feet. Get a little lower, pulse for four. For three, stand it up, shake off that band in two and one. Woo, shake off the band. Right, we're gonna come down into a plank position. Little video magic there, so now my mat's on the other side so that I'm facing you, but you don't have to move your mat around, okay? We are gonna focus on right side obliques. So now we're gonna take our band and you're gonna loop it around your hands like this. We're gonna come into a plank position and I want your right foot on the glider. Your left foot is just going to be planted on the floor. Reach your heels long, gentle squeeze to the seat, and I want your feet about hips distance apart. Now from here, we're going to slide this right knee across to our left elbow, then across to the right elbow, then take it back. Keep going across to the left, over to the right, and back into your plank position. Now you are pressing your hands into the mat. You're unlocking through the elbows. You are active and working through the shoulders. Now what's going on with that stationary left leg? I want you squeezing through the quads and reaching the heel back. All right, now we're just gonna switch directions. So now I want you to draw your right knee in towards the right elbow. Swish it across to the left and return it. Into the right, across to the left, return it. As you do this, you're breathing, you're maintaining that bracing feeling through your abdominal wall. One more time. Hold your plank. We're gonna take this into a row. Separate your feet about a little wider than hips distance apart. That left elbow is gonna row, keeping your hips square to the floor. Bring your knuckles to the mat. Now you're gonna row again. This time you open up into a side plank. Right hand stays planted. Square off those hips. So one row, hips square. One row as you drop your heels to the side and open up into that side plank. Keep it up, you have just two more. And then we have one final hold that kind of puts the two movements together. And then you are on your knees. Next time you roll open into that side plank, hold your side plank. Now I want you to take this back right knee and I want you to slide it forward. And on the next hill, you're gonna pick that right foot off of your glider, bringing the shin parallel to the floor. Hold and breathe. Four, three, two, with control, bring your knees down. You're still gripping the band. Let's come into a little kneeling shoulder work. Feel free to pad your knees. So gripping the band, we're going to do a shoulder press, reaching the arms overhead. You're gonna pull across on that band and then you're gonna pull it behind your head. Elbows down, so it's like a lat pull with that shoulder press. Up and over your head. You have just a little bit of kneeling band work here to center off. And then we're gonna start our side body work on the other side, starting with that tabletop work on our left leg. If you'd rather do this standing instead of kneeling, that is absolutely fine. Make sure when your arms are overhead, you're not puffing open through the rib cage. Gentle squeeze through your glutes here. So we are neutral and upright. Now, next time you reach those arms up overhead, hold alternating lat pull down. Try to think of pulling the band behind your head. The other arm stays lifted, unlock through the elbow though. Now, if you're tight through the shoulders, the band might be coming a little more to the side of your head than behind your head, that is okay. But I want you to think of the motion as coming from your shoulder blades originating, sliding down and slightly in. Open through the chest without losing that connection to your rib cage and your abdominal wall. You got it. One more each side, pull overhead, pull overhead and drop those arms, shake it out. Whew. Okay, band is gonna go around our feet. We are going to start our side body work from the top. You don't need your glider at first. We're gonna put the band around the arches of both feet and we're gonna come into that staggered tabletop position. So I want your right forearm down 
parallel to the short end of your mat, and then you're going to tent your left fingertips out to the side. Now from here, I want you to stretch your left leg long behind you. Make sure your bottom toes are tucked under just so that the band doesn't slip for me. And we're gonna start with that combo, rolling open through the hips. So take that left hip, peel it open, stacking it on top of the right. That should feel nice. And then two straight leg pulses. When you do those pulses, outside ankle bone points up to the ceiling. And then just close the pelvis, squaring it back off to the floor. Roll open. Two little pulses. And then toes to the mat. next time you roll those hips open, hold. So we're going to keep the pulses. We're going to add in a knee crunch. So two straight leg pulses, and then draw that left knee in towards your left triceps, and then straighten that leg back out two pulses. Now, as you crunch the knee in and send it back, think of reaching your tailbone long. I don't want you to curl under in your tailbone as you crunch in and then arch into your back as the leg goes straight. We're trying to maintain neutral. So glutes and outer hips working here, and it is not just your left leg. You're gonna feel your right side working. You should. Next time that leg goes straight, hold it straight. Now we're gonna do those pulses, but first I want you to sweep that left leg six inches to the left, and now pulse from there. Now notice when you did that, did you lean over to the right? I don't want that to happen. So think of really squeezing into your stabilizing right side seat, stacking the right hip on top of the right knee as best you can as you pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Hold that leg straight. You're on two arms in three, two, one. Two straight arms, I should say. So keep that back leg straight and externally rotated, but take your left hip and pull it down slightly. So your hip bones are both pointing down to the floor, but that thigh is still externally rotated. So we have that combo. It's one pulse up and down. Now you're going to pull the knee to the outside of that left elbow, and then you're going to lower it down in that hydrant. We hydrant open. We kick that legs back. One pulse when it's there. Keep this going. Don't worry how high the leg is when you do that hydrant. It's going to be harder to lift it up now that we've squared off through the torso. Especially since we already did this series on the right side. Hopefully you are really feeling the work your stabilizing side has to do on this one. Two more. Again, if you need padding for that knee, you can always use your glider. Now the next time that leg is straight, you're gonna hold it straight. Again, pull the left hip down just slightly, spiral open through the thigh though, and now you're gonna sweep this leg just about six inches out to the left. Little pulses up, up. I want you to think about shifting a little more weight into your left hand than the right, because I don't want you to counter this. You got it, little pulse is almost there. We're gonna stand up in eight, seven, pulse for six, five, core is bracing for three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna come to standing. I'm gonna flip my mat. We have that lunge series. There we go. All right, so slightly different positioning with the band. It's going to be around your left ankle and it's gonna be around the arch of your back right foot. And that back right foot is gonna go on your glider. Now remember, I'm gonna add in arms. If the arms are distracting or you just don't like it, you can always just hold your hands still on your hips or at heart center. So we're gonna start with that lunge with that knee slide at the bottom. So keeping your back leg long, back heel lifted. You're gonna bend into that left knee. As you slide the hips back, arms go overhead. Knee slide, that back right knee draws in as you pull your elbows in. Right leg straightens as the arms extend back overhead by your ears, and then you rise up out of that lunge. So you're planted down firmly through this front left foot. Heel bears the brunt of your weight, yes, but I also want you to think of spreading out through those toes and pressing that big toe down firmly into the floor. 
equal length in both sides of the waist. You may notice, especially when you do this knee slide, that one hip wants to drift forward. So usually it's going to be that you have to think about drawing this front left hip back. Big hinge forward with the torso. We're not rounding through the shoulders, so you're open through the chest. Connected to your abdominals always. And if you notice flaring open through the front of your rib cage, then I don't want you to lift your arms up as high. Maybe they just come parallel to the floor as you do this. First round of variations is coming up. We'll start with just the knee slide, then we'll do some pulses. This is your last full range rep for now. And next time you're down at the bottom, pause, arms reach overhead. Now I want you to picture I'm gently pulling your hips back, knee stays stacked over the heel, and then from here it's just that knee slide. Right knee draws in, right knee draws back. Think about staying light through this back foot. So as it draws forward, we're not shifting our weight back into it. You really wanna keep your weight forward in this front leg. Could you sit a little lower? We're gonna come into those lunge pulses. Next time your right leg is straight, hold it straight. From here you go down one inch, up just an inch. Don't let the band zip you up to the top. You're staying low. We're gonna start from the top with that combo. One lunge, one knee pull at the bottom. Pulls for four, three, two. With control, it's back to that combo. Up, arms lower. Lunge it back, arms sweep overhead. One lunge, pull at the bottom, reach and pull with the arms. So this time, when we go into those variations, our time spent in this low lunge will be significantly longer. We'll add on those two variations. But on the other side of that, you're done with lower body, okay? Okay, here we go. Next time you're in your low lunge, Pause for a second, square and level your hips, and then it's just that knee pull. Right knee draws in, right leg straightens out. You're holding low on that left side. Arms are reaching and pulling. If you wanna take out the arm movement, go for it. Keep thinking equal length through both sides of your waist. We have pulses coming up. Next time that right leg is straight, hold. We pulse down an inch and up an inch. So we're gonna come into that split lunge to hinge position. So almost think of that lever. Our back knee will bend and straighten. Make sure that your legs, you're not like walking on a tightrope, okay? So your feet are hips distance apart or a natural stance apart. Hold low. Now from here, increase the hinge. Fingertips reach towards the floor, but without rounding your shoulders. Now you're gonna bend your back knee as you do. Torso comes upright, arms reach to the ceiling. Bring them down, reach them to the floor as you straighten through that back leg. Bend, split lunge, you got it. So you're holding low on your left leg as you do this and the slider is not moving. Last time, you're gonna hold that split lunge. Arms up to the ceiling, take your back right hip, pick it up a smidge for me, pull it forward a smidge. Now pulse down and up to finish, you got it. Now again, movie magic. My mat is gonna to move to the other side of the couch just so that I stay facing you. You don't have to adjust yours though, all right? We're gonna to come to that plank work. Band comes out from around your legs in three, two, one. Stand it up, remove that band, woo, okay. 
in your plank position. Now it is your left foot that is gonna be on the glider, right foot on the floor, and your feet can be hips distance apart or even a little wider. And you're just going to put your band under your palms so that it's easy to grab when we come to the rows. Push apart on it, hands are shoulder distance apart, spread out through your fingers, push the mat away, come into your strong plank position. Elbows are kind of shooting back at a 45 degree angle, they are unlocked. Let's start with those cross body slides. Take your left knee, slide it across to your right elbow, swish it over to the left elbow, Send it back, keep that going. You are strong and stable through your right leg. Squeeze the quads and glutes on that side. Last time, then we switch direction. All right, now switch. Left knee into left elbow, swish it across to your right elbow, send it back, keep that going. Really slide it in close to that elbow. Not a lot of weight in the foot though, twice more. Pause in your plank. Right hand is gonna make a fist around the band now as you row. Keep hips square to the floor, knuckles down. And the next time you row, we open up into that side plank position, heels drop, feet are staggered. Keep that going. If you need to modify, do this without the band. You can also always come to tabletop and just give me the row without the twist. Getting a little shaky. You have two more. We'll hold that last one. Okay, last square row. Last twisted row. Hold the side plank. Now take that back left knee, slide it forward. On an exhale, pick that foot off the glider. Hold and breathe, you got it. Almost there. We kneel in four, three, two, one. Woo! Knees down to the mat, grip the band in your hands. You could hear my voice get shaky there at the end. All right, same two moves we did before. It's gonna be that shoulder press with that pull behind your head. Squeeze through the glutes, neutral through the pelvis, bracing gently through the core. Don't lose connection to your ribs. Pull apart on that band. If you'd rather put your forearms around it, that's an option too here. You're gonna reach up and then you're gonna pull it back. So you're going up and over your head. Now, if you're really tight through the shoulders, going behind your head, might not be happening for you. You have a couple options. One, use a longer thing. So if you hold like a towel, for example, and your hands are farther apart, it's gonna be easier to go up and over. Or if you don't have access to something longer, just ditch the band or just stay in front and do the shoulder press, lifting and lowering here. We are so close to being done with class. We have one more section to get through. It's gonna be prone. It unfortunately will still be with the band. <laughs> now, next time those arms go overhead, hold them overhead, alternating lat pull down. Think of trying to pull the band behind your head. Now, the arm that stays straight, make sure the elbow isn't totally locked out, okay? Almost there. Four more. Three, two, one. Take a second to shake it out. Whew. All right, we're gonna come into prone work to finish up. So one last time, I'm gonna flip my mat. You don't need your glider. You do need your band though. Have the band at the top of your mat. We won't grab it right away, but you'll wanna have it within reach. And when we do grab it, you can either grip it like we were doing in the previous section, or you can just hook it around your thumbs, which is what I will probably do. All right, for now though, I want you to lay down on your stomach. We wanna find neutral to the spine. So you need to engage the abdominal wall. We're not pushing our stomach down into the mat. I want you to take your legs about as wide as your mat. They can be parallel or they can be externally rotated, whatever works best for you. And then I want you to stack your hands one on top of the other and you're gonna bring your forehead down onto them. Now maintaining neutral through that low back, we're gonna lift. That lift, you're thinking of it coming from your mid back, right under your shoulder blades. So 
We're going to lift up, reach long through the head, and then exhale, lower everything back down. Inhale, it's a low, long hover, and exhale down. So I just want us to establish this connection to our mid-back as we come into the extension before we grab for that band. So just a few more like this. Now, if it helps you stay connected to your core, you could also try exhaling as you lift. Just three more like this. And then we're gonna grab that band. Last time. And lower. Okay, arms reach forward, thumbs hook around that band. Your nose is lightly tapping the mat. Now, first step here, I want you to pull slightly out on the band so you feel your lats, kind of the side of your body under your armpits, turn on. We're gonna go into that same extension with the arms overhead. So you reach along through the top of your head, everything comes into that long, low hover, and then lower it back down, nose taps the mat, keep that going. Now make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders up to your ears. Next time up, we're gonna hold at the top. Hold at that hover. Now I want you to bend your elbows, pulling the band in towards your chest, and then extend those arms back out. Pull them in. Extend them long. Your gaze is at the front edge of your mat. Don't crane your neck. Coming up next, we're just gonna put those two movements together. We lift lower, we pull extend. Let's do that, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull the elbows back. Inhale, reach them long. Exhale, lower everything back down. You have just one final hold to get through, and then we cool down. You got this. Now, next time you lift up with your arms extended, hold. It's a little pull apart on that band. It might be tiny. If you need to drop the band and do it body weight, do it. You got it. You're here for eight. Pull seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Lower down one cheek to the mat. Release that band. Whew. Bring your arms back. And then I want you to bend the knees and just windshield wiper the shin side to side for a little release. Awesome job. Since we're already laying down in the mat, we're gonna do a stretch for the chest and shoulders. I want you to straighten your legs, and I want you to reach your left arm out in a T, tense your right fingertips, and then you're just going to kick up and over, coming into that spinal twist. So your right foot is planted on the floor behind the extended left leg. And when you're ready, let's come through center and over to the other side. Right arm extends long, tent your left fingertips and kick up and over. And coming through center, hands under your shoulders. I want you to press yourself back into a shell stretch. It's like child's pose, but you're staying really rounded through the spine just to get some nice flexion after finishing up class with that extension work. And then coming up to kneel, I want you to take your right foot and just step it forward so that you're in a lunge position. We'll do a hip flexor stretch. So square your hips, gentle squeeze the back left butt cheek, and then press your pelvis forward slightly so you feel that nice opening across the top of your back left hip. And then let's take that left arm, reach it up, and we'll side bend over. Coming upright, shift the hips back, straightening out your front right leg, square the hips, and fold forward in your half split position for a stretch for the back of the leg. When 
you're ready, we'll take it over to the other side. Left foot will step forward, square your hips, squeeze the back right side seat, and then press your pelvis gently forward. Right arm is gonna come up overhead and then side bend over to the left. Coming upright, let's shift the hips back, straighten out through that front leg and fold forward, leading with your chest, stretching through the back of that front leg. And then when you're ready, let's just finish by coming to a comfortable seated position. We'll take one deep breath together. On an inhale, your arms are gonna sweep up overhead. And as you exhale, lower them through your heart center. Awesome work today. If you enjoyed class, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts for free here every Monday, although I'm doing it way more frequently in January. Um, and then I also post additional classes for Patreon members. All the information you need about joining Patreon is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. It's $9.99 a month. Not only do you get a bunch of additional classes, but you get a monthly workout calendar, which is great if you're someone who likes a little guidance week to week. I appreciate your support so much, whether it's on Patreon or just showing me some love on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.